an old-fashioned propeller plane. Just sitting there, too. I got it this time, Landry. I was once known as the Red Squirrel Baron of Doom. Let's test it out. Scoop, we better get these clues to Fred. I hear there's a ghost squirrel baron in the sky. <laughs> Shoot, which way is Fred, Scoops? Uh. <laughs> Landry, Landry, I can't control the gyros any longer. Scoops, look out! Zoinks! We should have never taken the mystery machine prop out for a ride, Scoob. <laughs> right. Looks like I should have practiced more in between World War Squirrel and now. Uh. Squirrel Squirrelzaneed 2020! Please, Squike! And Squirrel Ha ha ha! At least I still have the notification bell! Ah, no, the copper cat just stole the notification bell. Ah! On the table, Lego, the hidden side is back on the. We have set number 70429, El Fuego Stunt Plane, 295 pieces. As always, Lego the Hidden Side has some amazing minifigures included. We have Jack El Fuego, a skeleton stunt pilot, eh? Mary Breaksome, and of course, Spencer the Ghost Pup. I always get a kick out of building Lego biplanes. This one blue and yellow with lightning bolts and other features that connect on over to your Lego Hidden Side app, where the plane will come alive with all sorts of great activities. Hunt alone, hunt together. <laughs> Inside the box, instructions for the build. Bag one of pieces, there's a lot there. And bag two, there's some more. And a few stickers for your squirrel. Well, we can't stay on the ground too long, let's build up this stunt plane.
constructed, we have El Fuego's stunt plane. I always enjoy building a good Lego propeller plane. I love how each time I discover a new Lego prop plane set, there's an evolution to the engine that makes it so interesting. And this is a very interesting prop plane. Of course, it's piloted by El Fuego back there. A pretty fun skeleton minifigure with cape and stunt helmet. We have Jack in his cell phone again by the squirrel. Hey! And Mary breaks them over here with a ghostly flight pack. Ah! But all the attention of this set should go to the propeller plane. It is looking so, so awesome. Just look how mechanical the propeller is up front. It really feels like you could actually fly this thing around. Even on the sides over here, we have little flames coming out. I love how they've added flames. And surprisingly, inside the propeller, they've hidden the color dial for the app. Right now, it was on yellow. There's the dark blue. Okay, now we can kind of hide it. But there's your pink, your yellow, your light blue and back to plain color. We have a couple stud launchers up on this wing here, and we can even seat Jack up there. There's plenty of studs on the wings to place a figure, and on the bottom, there's handle grips on these bottom wings. A great many spots for action. The plane lands on some nice rolly rolly wheels, and we have another stud launcher on the back side. Before we move on to the apple, let's take a look at a couple other Lego biplanes that I just absolutely love. One of my all-time favorites, the Bi-Wing Baron from the LEGO Adventures line of many years ago. And I think the squirrel has stolen his hat. There you go, Baron. One of my most favorite planes around. It's starting to fall apart a little bit. I think there's a few missing pieces, but I love this build. And again, it kind of highlights the engine of these planes, how they keep evolving so well. This engine at the time felt so complicated, and now I'm looking at it and laughing, especially after building this one. Another already probably instant classic would be the Scooby-Doo biplane. I felt like this one had an upgraded engine, especially with the exhaust ports coming out the side. And now it's a two-seater for both Shaggy and Scooby, and of course drops hamburger bombs. <laughs> and one more propeller biplane stunt plane would be this cool creator stunt plane pack. Was it a creator pack? I can't remember now. I'm missing the pilot. He went on some sort of adventure already in my house somewhere. But I enjoyed the colorful red, white, and blue build of this. Also felt like the engine went through another upgrade and we've got some white flames coming out of this one. This was a great build. And I'm sure I have a few more other propeller plane sets in the house somewhere. I know I've built more. Didn't Luke Skywalker once have a prop plane? Ah, uh, come on. The caliber flange is bolted. Hang on. Luke, Luke, maybe if you just... Ah, there we go. Uh-oh. Uncle Owen. Uncle Owen! Anyhow, okay, opened up the Lego Hidden Side app. It's been a while. Let's see, how do we do this again? I think over in Hunter, we'll be able to scan the plane. Oh, there's so many new sets in here. Uh, up here, there's the plane, I think. Okay, that tells you what to do. Make sure you're on a picnic table with a lot of red squares, of course. Pull back. Got it! Oh, that's so fun. Now, all of a sudden, with awesome technology and augmented reality and weird 3D eyeballs, we are able to see this plane from all different angles uh, in a new hidden side world. And we've got a message already from JB. This place has been totally gloomed. You need to clear the gloom pronto, but first you gotta find it. Okay, so I think we are supposed to turn it to yellow. I just quickly accidentally jumped too far. So we'll see if we can see the yellow here. All right, find the gloom. So now we're gonna find gloom. All gloom spots found. Well, that was too easy. Oh wait, there's a spot right there. Oh, now we need to turn it red. So tricky to do this on one hand. Oh, there goes Jack. Now I'm looking for gloom. I'm looking for gloom. There's something wrong with my skeleton. Wait, wait, wait. I think I failed. Ah. Oh. Found it! It was just on the edge of the tip of the plane. It, for some reason, was a little glitchy that time. <laughs> the skeleton's head is half in there. Nice, you found a gloom spot. Clear the gloom by scanning it. Okay, here's one. Oh, we actually got it, I think, pretty well that time. Do me a favor and change that color wheel to blue. Oh, I did. Maybe I could scan El Fuego. There we go. Okay, we got him. 
There's a ghost. Come on, kiddo. What are you waiting for? Zap him. Where? Where's the ghost? Ah, there it is. Oh, where'd he go now? There he is. Overheat. Oh, I forgot about that part. Oh, no. Oh, no. And he's like right on us. There's something over there. Oh, you gotta follow those little radar things. Try not to overheat by going too much. Where is he? He's like on the ceiling or something. There he is. He was on my ceiling for a second. I had to totally scan upside down. And we caught Ghost Gary Atrick. I think we've caught him before. Alright, thanks JB. Stunt plane results. 86% haunted. Congratulations, new milestone, 300 scribers. I really need to play this game more, it's so awesome. So if you're dizzy yet on my quick little app demonstration, I have succeeded. On the box here, Harry Kane would be your master boss, I believe, in this set to have found. But for now, let's just enjoy the stun plane as is. You do not need the app, of course, to build this amazing set. At 295 pieces and a price point of about $30. A fairly reasonable set to build and play with. If you're a fan of the skies, look out for El Fuego's stunt plane. If you're looking for fun-filled ways of commenting on this video, we've got a Discord link in the description. Don't forget about Instagram, Pop Jam, and TikTok, all great places to contact the squirrels. That's what I have to say about that.